Hello, 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 hello. It's 9.37 p.m. on this Sunday morning. Wait for a couple of people. Oh, I got a zip right there. But it ain't hurting. It must be going away then. But it's look like a couple of them. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. And wait, that gives people, folks some time to get off in here. Got two folks in here. Welcome, welcome. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you ain't. Subscribe if you ain't. Make sure y'all subscribe now. And share, 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 share. You can share it while I'm live on your Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. Hey, Dolores. Welcome, 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 girl. I got, I would, I've got two beds. Y'all know I ask against my rules right now. But start my new job this week. Me and my son be working the same job, so that income gonna go up because we gonna, he gonna have to the bills. Hey, Noble. What's up? What's up? What's up? Who's that? Who's that? Stephanie. I ain't seen you in twenty years, girl. I ain't seen you in twenty years. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring some joy to this sad day because it's just been a sad, it's a sad day. That's sad about Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the other people that was on that helicopter. Yeah, we heard about that right after church. That's a sad, it's a sad thing. It's really sad. It just don't make no sense. Mm-mm-mm. I never was a Kobe Bryant fan, but I never wished death on anybody. And I know it's hard on his family and his wife. It's, it's like you lose your daughter and your husband. The same, t- the same time. Mm 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 mm. Just say it. Had to go get go thrifting after that because I'm like, this is gonna be some sadness all over the TV. Gonna be sadness all over the Instagram, all over YouTube. Just sadness for the next probably week or two. Just sadness. And then we got something else coming from the idiot president tomorrow, which I'll talk about after I show y'all these. What I thrifted today, since this is a thrift haul, let's get to the what I thrifted today. Man, these are my earrings that I made, y'all. And I got my skirt on that matches. That's what I wore. My little skirt that matches that I made. And the earrings to go with it. Oh, you got to work tomorrow? Oh, yeah. You got to work tomorrow. I don't got to work tomorrow because I changed jobs. <laughs> you need to go sleep. We'll get you some good rest. Yeah, pray for his family because it's just sad. Yeah, catch the play black. No, but I still ain't sent your stuff, but I'm going to get it to you. So just don't just charge it to don't charge it to my heart. Just charge it to my laziness. But my new job is close to the post office, so now I don't have an excuse. So I'll be able to get it to you hopefully this week. And my new job is right down the street from the close to post office. It doesn't close to eight p.m. So then I have no excuse. I can go after work, go to the post office, send it. But yeah, so we got two bags today. So I did a real, I spent 40 bucks, but I'm going to make this money back quick when you see what I got. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thanks for the thumbs up, Noble. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video now. So I'll show y'all a couple of the things I got today. And of course, 99 cent for the clothing items were with the orange tag for today. And I did, I actually did a thrift with me video today. So I'm going to get that up this week. I did a thrift with me. I did it. I did it. I did it. Took my phone on in there and went on the film today. And it's about 25 minutes, 26, something like that minutes. But I will have a thrift with me video for y'all. Because I did it. But this is the haul from that video that will be going up later. Um, This seatbelt bag, isn't it cute? It's a cute little green one. I just got to clean it off a little bit. Not really, just the straps a little bit. You can't even see in the camera. Well, on this side, you can see. See, this is a little spots little spots on the straps but it is a cute little green seat belt bag these seat belt bags sell now and it's an actual seat belt bag cute little green perfect for the spring y'all perfect for the spring these sell hey vivian morris what's up what's up what's up how's it going make sure you thumbs up the video and um we got this, I got this. This is a Mary Kay case, but I say that would be good to store my make my um jewelry. I didn't even put that back in my I didn't put this jewelry back in my blue jewelry bag. But hey, I'm probably gonna end up putting it in here once I clean this out. Put these in here. So I said because it's perfect for like store, it would be perfect for storing some little jewelry in. It has all these pouches. All these pouches is perfect. This, this wasn't even used by whoever had it because they still got the tissue paper in it. So this is perfect, a perfect jewelry bag, even though I, I don't know, I guess it was a makeup bag for Mary Kay. Or supposed to be, but nobody, whoever had it, didn't use it. 
And then it was a dollar ninety nine. So it ain't bad. I said, oh, I've been looking for some, another little jewelry like bag to put my little jewelry in. Because I keep making more. So I got that. Um, put that down there. Let's see what we got. Now these is the this bag has the 99 cent items, the clothing items that I got for 99 cent. And most of these are for resale on Poshmark. All of them should be, and all of them probably will be for resale on my Poshmark. But I really like this right here. I really like it because it's Chanel-esque. Chanel-esque. And it was 99 cent in this towel book. It was cute. Isn't it cute? And the girl that was ringing it up was like, that's cute. I was like, I know, ain't it? Cute with some jeans, some little jeans and some boots or something, even with a skirt and whatever. But it'd be real cute with some jeans. Just a nice green. I just like that green and I like the little sleeves. Just like it. They think it's cute, Chanel esque. My Chanel, but it's Chanel esque. And for 99 cents, you can't beat it for a Talbot's uh, top. So I got to fight to whether to see if I want to keep it. I really want it for myself. I really do. So I might keep this one for myself. I'm not sure. It might go on the Poshmark, but I'm not sure if one of y'all want it and y'all wear a size 10, then I'll put it on the Poshmark. But if yeah, nobody say they want it, I think this one is going to be mine. Mine, mine, mine. Let's see. Yeah, it would, Dolores. And then I got these pants for 99 cents. No, is this pants? No, this is a jacket. It's a Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein suit jacket. For 99 cents. That's what I got it for, but that ain't what I'm going to sell it for. But I ain't going to sell it for too much since I got it for 99 cents. And if one of y'all want it, then y'all know y'all supposed to let me know in the comments. Then y'all make me an offer. Let me know. Okay, this is me, la la. And then make me an offer. Because y'all get the deals. My subscribers get the deals. I'm a Poshmark. My Poshmark is la la B42. La la B, the letter B. And the number 42. That's my Poshmark closet. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Because this stuff's going to get posted. It's getting uploaded soon on my Posh. Hopefully tonight. I get a lot of it. Hopefully put up there. But this is a nice Calvin Klein. It's a nice Calvin Klein suit jacket for your job interview. For work. If you have to go to work and dress up like this. It's nice. And it's a size. Size is this. And it also says Calvin Klein on the buttons. On the top and bottom of the button. Calvin Klein. Let's see if the pockets are real pockets or are they faux. I don't know. They might be stitched. Can't tell. But they seem like they're real pockets, but they stitched. And you don't know, you know they be stitching stuff. Oh, yeah, I think they are. Let's pull the stitch out. I ain't going to do that. But I think they're real pockets. They're just stitched. And I don't feel like I'm trying to do it the easy way, which is like, yeah, but you got to actually use a thread puller. But from what I can see and from what I feel, this is a real pocket. I don't know, though. Let me see. Yeah, that's a real pocket. I don't know. Maybe not. I can't tell, too, because you can't see a pocket on this side. It might be a fold pocket. Would not know unless I took that thread out. And I'm not going to do that and mess it up, because if it's a fake pocket, then I'll mess it up. Let the person that bad take them threads out and find out. This is a size. What size is this? Size. It still has a little tag right here. I don't think the person who bought this wore this too much because this little tag would have irritated their side. The plastic tabs, they irritate you. I can't even see what P is a petite. I don't know. It doesn't look like no petite, but it says P. So it's a petite, but I don't know. It'll fit me and I ain't petite. What size is it though? Size. I think it says size 12. Shoot, this is a funny looking tag right here. Look at this. How are you supposed to read that? Lord have mercy. Shell is polyester. I can see that. It doesn't even say the size. Making me mad. It ain't saying the size. Let me turn it over, see if I can see a size. Shoot. No, it got a serial number. Got all that. This tag don't even say what size it is. Where's the size on this? What's this little tag say? Just more serial numbers. Okay. I'm not seeing the size of this. Oh, there's another little brown tag up here that must say the size. Why, Calvin Klein? My God. Now I gotta make it so hard to read. Why? Can't people just see? Lord Jesus. I can't. Hmm. 
Let me see if I take this. I don't have a light to put on it. Okay, here goes this idiot. Here goes an idiot. Block. Idiot. I'm sick of these people. I'm going to have to get some moderators. Because I've been having these stupid idiots getting in here. Report. Pornography. Explicit. Report. Go on and report them. If y'all ain't reported them, so they'll get put on that bat here. I should be able to get them out of here. Hold on. Remove. And they got the nerve to have a woman name, and you was a sick idiot, idiot individual. Put user in time. Had user on this. There we go. Got rid of them. Had them. Now bring another one. I'm going to have them too. I ain't had now. I ain't had no stupid idiots come in my chats like this, cause I don't have that many people to come in my chats. It's so stupid. I don't know why they want to bother me, cause I ain't had them do that. Cause I don't have enough people. My chats are not big enough for that. So I'm shocked that it's been happening lately. It happened in the last one. Well, how do I send moderators? Shoot, we get to go on and get this going. Figure out how. Let me see how I do that. Put user time. Add moderator. I made you a moderator, Doors. Who else gonna be one? We gonna make you one too, Stephanie. And moderator. There we go. So when I don't catch it in time, y'all can catch them. Get them up out of here. Because they've been trying to come in here lately. You don't have this, Vivian. I'm trying to see what size it is because I'm sure somebody might want it. Y'all might want to buy it. I'm going to put it on my page. It's Calvin Klein. It's nice. But if I can only read the size, I'm going to get my magnifying glass. It's over. Let me go get my magnifying glass because I can't read it, y'all. It's the Calvin Klein. They won't nobody read it. They just want you to try it on the word. Let me see. It's tiny. Them words is tiny. Ugh. Oof. Had my long boots on, brown boots on. I think they Calvin Klein too. That's why I had on with the skirt. So it covered up my whole leg. Because it's still cold. It's cold here. It ain't snowing though, but it's cold. We had a little flurries that didn't stick. Let me see if I can see now what size this thing is. Oh, it's a 12. So it's a 12. Size 12. I was thinking it was a 12, but I couldn't really see. It's a size 12. So if y'all need a nice little suit. Calvin Klein suit jacket, size 12 for women. Size 12, it's really cute, cute jacket. Get on that posh when I get this posted. I should hopefully get it posted tonight. And tell me who you are. If your name ain't the same as your YouTube name, let me know. Say subby and give me an offer. And you can have this nice little Calvin Klein suit jacket. And then I got this. I, I got this because this is coral and coral is the color that's trending, been trending this year or whatever, the end of the year and this year starting. It's like a jean, almost a jean material, but I don't know what really, is it linen? I don't know what material is this. It's from the limited. It's just a cute little jacket. It was 99 cents, so why not? I'm sell it on my posh. Sell it on my posh and look at it has a, like stripes. So you can roll up the sleeves, have the cute little stripes on, the, on it when you roll your sleeves up like this. Look at that, cute, be cute. That's if you want to wear it when you want to wear it with some jeans or something. When you want to wear it with your jeans, you roll your sleeves up like that. Yeah, cute. Cute, cute, cute. When you want to be business, I guess you roll your sleeves down. But when you want to be, I'm having fun. I'm going out. I'm going somewhere with my little jeans trying to be cute with my little blazer. And, yeah, look at that. Look cute. And it's all on the inside, too, the same little pinstripe. It's a cute little jacket. Cute little jacket, y'all. Nice little buttons. Marble-esque button. And what's this? Look at that. That's the, oh, that's the button. Oh, I thought that was something going. Look at me tripping. Trying to see what size this is. This is size. Size. Oh, and it had been to the dry cleaners, too. Then I already been dry clean for you. Large. Duh. Size large. That fit me, too. All this cute stuff. It will fit me, but I'm going to give it to y'all and Posh. Cause I could fit a medium large. I would, this is really cute. Even the pockets got the look. This is a cute, cute little blazer. Cute. And what fabric is it? Let me see. Cause it's like a, I don't know. It feels like blue jeans almost, but it's not blue jeans, but it feels like 
glue jean, but what is the fabric? This is a, let's see, 100% cotton. Lining is 100% polyester. So it's cotton, 100% cotton, but it it feels like jeans, blue jeans. So it's like a casual, it could be casual and, and dressy. It's very cute. Size large, women's. 2X, my clothes. Oh, uh, you wear 2X. I'm going to have to get some 2X. I got some on my podcast. I got some that I ain't even posted. But I'm going to have to get some more 2X for you, Stephanie. Get some 2X. I was snatching up stuff that was close to my size because I was going to keep it for myself. But I'm not. I'm not going to keep it for myself because I don't need it. I need to get rid of that jacket. It's cute, though. That coral. Y'all know this is cute. Y'all know this is cute. If y'all can swoop that up for like 10 bucks, the limited. And it's quality. This is quality. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't gonna post it for 10 bucks, but for when y'all, if y'all want it, y'all say y'all a subscriber, y'all can get it for 10. I'll probably post it for about 20 and maybe end up selling it for about 15, but we'll see what it sells for. It might sell for the 20 just because that color is in. And these Gantos, I thought, think Gantos used to be a fancy store that I got my prom dress from. Maybe not. Maybe it was Cinderella. I can't remember. But Gantos, isn't that like a fancy suit store or something? Now that I see that. Cause these are like dress pants. They sturdy too. They my size. I got them myself really, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna sell them because they brand new with tags. Look, and they was ninety nine cent, and they brand new with tags, with the extra button and everything with them. And they cute. They got that already made uh, creasing or whatever. Just some cute little brown pants. Sturdy. Size t size twelve. Ninety six percent cotton, four percent spandex. But they cute, cute little nice pants. New with tags, going on the Poshmark. They would go with them. Look, that kind of goes with this. The coral and the brown kind of go together. That that with that. If you try and be dressy with it, it kind of go together. If you put a brown top, brown shirt, funny for or a white shirt. Get your brown shirt or white button down. It'd be cute with them brown pants with that. And they both size. Uh, the, well, that blazer is large and those pants is 12. So, yeah. Hey, Raven. What's up? What's up? What's up? Make you a moderator, too, because you in most of my chats. I would have made Noble. Noble's in almost all my chats. I'll get her next time. Yeah, I needed a moderator. I done made Stephanie, uh, the Lord saying you moderators because I had a crazy person come off in here today. So I'm getting moderators. That's the second time it's happened. Remember last time we had that penis guy come in here? Mm -mm. Got these. Alfini, Alfani. Just some more dress pants. That would go. These would go good with that blazer as well. These are size 10. Because I told you I was trying to really get stuff my size, but I'm not keeping this stuff. I need to sell it. I have clothes. I need to stop. I got too many clothes. These would be cute. These would be cute with this as well. They would go. Look at that. They go. And this with a white top with these or with a tan top. But it would be cute with a white button down with these pants. That, that would be cute. Would be very cute together. These would be on my posh. And put them dress pants. And this, these pants right here. All these clothes I got, a 99 cent. And these are Lauren. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Y'all know me, my Ralph Lauren. So we got Lauren by Ralph Lauren. They size eight. Can't really see that. They size eight. They would be on my posh for some nice winter. And winter's still here. Some nice, sturdy winter pants. And they got a satin inside, if you can't see. Yeah, see this inside satin. They will be on the posh. And these are the exterior, 64% wool, 21% lane. And then the lining is 100% acetate. But, yeah, so these are some good quality pants here that will be on my posh mark. All the buttons are still here. So there's a button and there's that. And then, yeah, everything's these are in great shape. Great shape. Great shape. 
going on the pie. Hopefully I get all these clothes up tonight and the other bags that I got. Hopefully I get it all up tonight. And y'all know, like I said, say you're a subscriber in the comment and make me an offer if you want anything. If you want anything cheaper than what I listed for. Yeah, that's the first bag. And now we're going to get to the shoe, shoe, shoes. The other bag with the shoes. I got some good shoes, y'all. Got some good shoes. Need the shoes, the shoes. Okay, and they were $3.99. Shoes are $3.99. So I saw these and I thought, are these Uggs or fake Uggs or something? It's like, hmm. Some, I passed them up the first time. They're not in bad shape at all. There's tape on the bottom of the shoe. Uh, I couldn't get that off there. I don't even know why it's on there. It's just, I guess they walked on some tape. But when I looked on the back, I was like, hold up. Is this the regular? This is not for Target. <laughs> and it does not say for Target. These are Isaac Mersra. And it's not for Target. Isaac Mersra, New York. So not for Target. Which means these are some quality... They probably cost more than us or the same price. I don't know. I didn't look it up. I just know that Isaac Measure New York is his real brand. And it's not the if it's for Target, it will say for Target or for Payless or whatever, whoever they used to, he used to sell his shoes. And that just needs to be wiped off, whatever that is on there. But these are in excellent shape. And yeah, these will be going on the plush. I don't know what size are these. Mm -hmm. I have to put a flashlight or something down there to see what size they size of these. Oh, you can't even see it. They don't say the size on the inside. So does it say the size on the bottom? I don't know where the size is on this shoe. Hopefully it's on the other shoe. Darn it. How am I supposed to know what size these are? That sucks. Because the bottom of the shoe, unless it's underneath this tape that I have to take off, I'm not finding the size for these. And the inside of the shoe does not, it's just all fuzz, all fur. There's no tags to tell me what size these are. They look like they probably about my size, which is a 10, nine and a half, 10. But there's nothing to say that. Let's see if I can get this tape off here and see something. No. That's weird. Why don't you have a freaking size? I guess they put that tape on there so they wouldn't slip because maybe they're slippery. If you think the tape would make you slip. Um, no size. It's making me mad that they don't have a size. I guess I could just measure them and put the measurements because they definitely do not have a size on these shoes. But they're Isaac Mesro, New York. So I had to snatch them up. It sucks that they don't have a freaking size. I ain't never seen such in my life. I don't know. I just, I just don't know why there's no size. Nowhere. Like, nowhere. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing a size, but there's nothing in here. No tags or nothing unless they cut the... But it, uh, it looks like they had a tag and they cut the tag because it was right here on the side. Some kind of tag was right here and they cut it out. I don't know if it does, it was getting on their nerves or what. On both shoes, they cut it out. Oh, that sucks. How are people supposed to know the size? Just going to have to measure those and figure out the size because, yeah, they took the size out of them. Why? Make sure y'all thumbs up, seven people off in here. Welcome, 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 seven folks. And make sure you thumbs up the video. Thumbs up and subscribe if you ain't. So, and then I got these store. Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman. They good. Yeah, I know Stuart Weitzman, Weitzman is not cheap and they sell fast too. So look at that. Look at the heel. It's cute. It's like a, see? What do you call it? It's a, what is that? Octagon? I don't know. Didn't do good at geometry, but it is what it is. Is it a pentagon? Might be a pentagon. Two, three, four, five. Five is an octagon. Had to count that all slow. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Is it five or octagon? I don't know what it is. Pentagon. I'm going to call it what it is. One of the two. I told y'all I wasn't good at geometry. We ain't going to play. 
geometry. But these are like a gray, and then they have like this little metal tip, little tapping tip. Cute little Stuart Weissman. And these are size. Size. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Stuart Weissman. Where's the other one? Because I know she put it in here. But I, did I already put it out? I don't know. Hopefully my son dropped it. He better go out there and find it. Laurel? Laurel? Go find this other shoe. You may have made it fall. It might have fell out in the car. But make sure you go find it. It's a little gray, a silver shoe. Look in the back seat. Find that shoe. Bring it down in here. Can't be having that. Can't be having that. We ain't gonna have it today. Then I got these cute Kohans. Kohan sale. And look at that. It's just cute. Even underneath, they're eight and a half. I think that's what it says. No, seven and a half B. Seven and a half Bs. But look at that. They have like a little lace. That's really cute. Little leather lace. Kohan on the inside. Cute. And they got suede around. Or is that suede? Yeah, that's suede around here. And leather. Some cute little shoes. Seven and a half. Kohans. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. And that's both of them. Just so you actually both shoes in great condition. Great condition. See, got these stupid people just coming in here. I can't even see the regular people's comments because stupid people keep coming in here. Okay, that this is irritating. Moderators kick in. Kick in, moderators. I don't know if y'all sleeping or what, but put use in timeout. This is this is pissing. I'm sorry, I had to say that they pissing me off. This is too much. This is stupid, and I don't know why they picking with my chat today. It's just stupid. I don't know who you are that got a problem against me putting the, bringing their little nasty self off in my chat and keep coming off in here. I don't know. My channel is too small for that BS, so go mess with somebody you got a big channel because you're pissing me off. Today ain't the day for it. Take your little nasty stuff on somewhere. Hey, Martha. What's up, what, Vivian? You you do what? I can't even remember what I said now because these people keep making me mad coming out from my chat doing this stupid stuff. As small of a channel as I am. I've been on YouTube almost three years. March, the middle of March will be three years. And I ain't had this problem. My last two chats, I had this problem. It's my first time having to get moderators. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have to make you a moderator too, Martha, because it's just getting out of hand. I don't know where my other folks went. That I made moderators. I think they cooking or something. Or well, now it is like 10 o'clock. They might have went to sleep. Let me add you. Yeah, because, yeah, they keep coming in. There's two people that already came in. here. probably the same person under two different names. Doing stupid, nasty stuff. Sick of it. Can't just have my little small, peaceful life without an idiots roaming the internet. And then I got these, and these are suede. Suede. I saw them, I was like, and I saw that. I said, they must be Michael Kors. Because you know that's usually a symbol for Michael Kors, but it could be Steve Madden, because Steve Madden be doing knockoffs of a lot of stuff. Oh, you don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Martha's a moderator now, too. And I'm gonna make Noble one when she come back. But yeah, these I saw him. I was like, he's gotta be Michael Kors. So I got close. I was read the back. I was like, that's Michael Kors. Cause, well, I didn't have to read the back because I looked at the bottom. Michael Kors. I said, oh yeah, I got him. It's only thing wrong with him is just that peeling on the inside of the shoe. So what? Glue head on down or just wear them like they are. These are Michael Kors and they are fine just because that little pillow, they don't mean nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with these shoes. Clean them out and sell them. And I think they my size. They size 10, I think, because I think I looked at the size earlier. I was like, oh, I keep them. I, got, I already got some purple suede ones that I got from the uh, cl clothes mentor. And these were size um, 10 mediums. 
too. I said, oh, it's tempting to keep these because I got some purple suede ones just like this that I got closed mentor. But I got these for $3.99. The ones I got from closed mentor was $15, or something like it, or $19.99. Or so I don't know. I'm tempted to keep these, but I think I'm going to put them on my posh and sell them. So, yeah, both of those shoes. Both of those, and they're in great condition. Look at the bottom just a little bit. Right there on that one, but so what? Who cares about that? That is not. I can glue that down. Did you find that shoe, Lorel? He just now went outside to look for the shoe. I told him to look for that shoe. How long ago? How long ago did I tell him go look for that shoe? Now here he comes. These, I found some freaking Harachis. I found some freaking Harachis. I don't care if they are kids. Kids stuff sells fast. Some Harachis at the Goodwill. And they was $1.99 because they kids shoes. $1.99 for some Harachis. Oh, he found the other Stuart Weissman. So yeah, I got both of the Stuart Weissman. He found the other one. It was out there. It was in the car. Was it in the car? L'Oreal? Was it in the car? Was it in the car? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he dropped it in the car. But that's the other Stuart Weissman. Seven and a half. Cute, 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 cute. That'll sell fast. These are going to sell fast. Stuart Weissman always sells fast. But yeah, it's just cute. I, I look at your Martha, you got your grandbabies. Do they wear this size? You know your own body is for your granddaughter. It's cute color, too. I, I don't know what color you would call it. It's nude. It's like a, it's like a pink, but it's like a light. Like a nude? I don't know what color this is. Does this shade the color when you look at the shoe? It's a size. Four and a half youth. Four and a half youth. It doesn't say the color. But it's like a... I don't know what you call that color. What you call this color? What is this? Nude. It's nude, but it's got a pink tint to it. But the Hirachis. Y'all know how much Hirachis cost. Probably even kids' Hirachis might be even 100. So, yeah. I got them for a dollar ninety nine. Going on my Poshmark. Here's the other. Here's the other one. I just got to clean them up. That's all that needs to be done. Just need to be cleaned up. That's the bottom. They just need to be cleaned up on the bottom. They just need to be cleaned up. And these are gonna be gone fast. These ain't gonna last long at all. Not no Harachis. My first time finding some, it was in good shape. I think I found seen some before that wasn't in good shape. But these are in good shape. They just need to be wiped off. Wipe them. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Four and a half youth. They're four and a half youth. Um, I told you this was my last week at that call center. So I'm starting my other job, my other temporary job this week. I ain't got to be on no phone. So, yeah, I was glad to walk out them doors Friday. Only had to do a half a day. Got up out of there. Look at these Converse. Converse sell fast, too, and these are excellent. I don't even think these things was worn. If they was worn, they was worn one time. Look at the inside. Look at these. I don't think they was worn. And look at them. They got, like, a cute little detail. I don't know what you call these. Lace looking. It's like a lace look. See that? Like brand new Chucks. Converse All-Stars. Got them for $3.99. Look at these things. Was these even worn? I don't think they were. These are like brand new. I don't even I don't have to wash them for what? They they freaking clean. I can get the white a little whiter, but they must have been worn one day on time. Because look at the inside. How was these even? I seen them. I said, are them chucks? Oh yeah, chucks sell fast. Yeah, they like new. And here's the other one. Looks just as good. The other shoe. Look at that. Even the laces are white. Inside is ridiculously clean. Ridiculously clean. And I bet they my size because they just look like they my size. But they going on the posh. They going on the posh. Now they they might well in chucks they I could fit them in chucks. They size nine. Size nine. Now I can wear a nine and chucks. I'm a nine and a half ten. But chucks run kind of big. So, well no, because right here they say seven. UK seven, US nine. So did somebody buy these in the UK? Cause they look like a nine, but then it says seven right here. But I guess Chucks, some Chucks, if they 
from the maybe these are from the UK because they got the UK size on the bottom, but on the inside it says US US size size nine and UK size seven. So they're size nine. Okay, what else I got in here? I feel good. Uh, there's more, but there's more. Make sure you thumbs up the video now. Got these, and these are samples. But look, these are cute. I had to get them just because of that detail. They need a little bit of repairancy. They need a little bit of repair. And I'm gonna patch it up a little bit with some glue and just tell, put in the comment on the price mark that it had been repaired, so people will know because they do need a little bit of repairing, a little patching up. But they're cute little sandals, really. Um, go around like this part, I guess, goes around your um, ankle or something. I don't know what they do. Yeah, because it goes to the back. So this is what they, yeah, cute. Little Michael Kors. That's why I grabbed them, $3.99. Michael Kors uh, sandals. But that's cute. Look at that. It can go around your foot. These are some cute little sandals. And this little MK on the... The gold MK on the side accent makes it even more cute. Just have to patch up the toes on both of them. What size are these? Let's see. Let's see. We're going to have to see what size. And let's see. Both of them's like it. Both of them just need to be patched. See, both of them got this. I don't know why this person was walking on their tippy toes to do that. They had to be walking on their tippy toes, just dragging. That's weird. But people do that. People walk on their tippy toes. But yeah. And the size is on this little strap. I think they're six and a half, but let me look again. No, they're not. Are they eight and a half? Oh, these are eight and a half. So, hey, that's a good size. Some of y'all probably wear eight and a half. I'm nine and a half, ten, though. But these are eight and a half. And they are cute. Well, I'm going to patch it. Like I said, I'm going to patch this part up, glue it, patch it up, clean it off. It's really just it's dirty as well, besides it being separated. But I'm going to glue that. Glue that. Yeah. Hook them up. Put them on, on the on the posh mark. Eight and a half. Michael Kors. What I really love though is the MK on the side. It'd be hard to get put these away. Give these away. If they was my size, I'd patch them on up and rock them. Patch them on up and rock them if they was my size. Because those are cute. How they go around your ankle like it. It would look so good. I love shoes to go around your ankle. I always look real cute. And she separated these. Put them in a separate bag because she didn't want them to get scratched. She's like, you don't have no scratches. You want me to put it in a separate bag? I said, cool. You can put it in a separate bag. If you don't want them to get scratched. There's another pair of Kohans. Another pair. Look at the bottom. Got the little protector down there. The black protectors on it. Or a slip. Those are the no slips or whatever. Just patent leather. Some black patent leather Kohans. Uh, can you see? Trying to do the light where y'all can see Kohan. This one probably is better, yeah. Kohan. Kohan. Kohan is made by Nike. See? It might say Nike. Nike Air, see? It says Nike Air, Kohan. And these are seven and a half. Seven and a half bees like the other ones. They must came from the same person. It's just some cute little Kohans. These will sell, probably sell fast. They are going on the posh. And that concludes my thrift haul. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And now to the chit chat. I'm going to show y'all a little bit. I got, oh, I'm trying different stuff, y'all. I made these. I made these in the dark last night. The only light I had was my laptop. I didn't want to cut the light on. I was being lazy. I didn't want to get up and cut the light on. I just made these in the dark. Only light I had was my laptop and got extra sun. Need to see how I put my pick on this thing. Ain't no, anybody know how. Oh, you talking about on YouTube. You gotta go to my account settings or whatever, I think, and put your pick. Let's see what you do. You go your channel. You would click on your picture. Well, your little no picture, your little round thing with the no picture right there. Click and do your channel. And then it should give you options to like do your photo and all that stuff. So when it says personalized channel or something, you can put your picture and all that on there, I think. 
Yeah, I did. I got a lot of nice shoes, but yeah, this is my new. I I did it, y'all. I used the fabric on some. I had like these bare, like these that come in here. They're unfinished beads. So I was like, I'm gonna put. I always been thinking about. I want to put some fabric on the unfinished beads, and then put the color beads on there with them. So that's what I did last night. I used glue, and I put fabric on the unfinished beads, and then I, if the color was in there, see, because that pink is in these. The pink is in these. It's really an orange, but it, orange rounded. But then inside there is the same color pink. So I put the pink on them. And just wrap the fabric around those. And then I did the same with this one. Wrap the fabric around the other beads and carver fabric around the beads and put the yellow beads on there with it. Put them on here. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Some cute little bracelets that I made. Made them yesterday. Now you can stack them like it. Stack them like it. Get your cute on. 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 Curly Dozen, comment on your pic you posted, I think, yesterday. Oh, you did? Well, thank you very much, Jazzer, Jazz, Janice Peterson, Curly Dozen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got another pic I'm probably going to post today with my little outfit that I, because it's my earrings. And my skirt that I made. So, got another pig. Oh, I wore the. I'll show y'all the boots that I wore with this. Look at me, just lazy. I'm just lazy, y'all. Y'all seen these boots before, I think. But yeah, I wore these boots with it. They're brown. I don't know if they look black in the camera, but they're brown, chocolate brown. And I wore them all the way up like it, because you can fold these down. They have a suede interior, but I wore them all the way up. I think these are Ralph Lauren or Calvin Klein. One or two. I got it. Ralph Lauren. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Uh, you can't see, but yeah, that's what they are. I got them at a yard sale for 20 bucks. They was brand new. They was brand new in the box. I had them for about a couple years, about two years, if not longer. I love them. This leather is just wonderful. You got to go. Good night, Stephanie. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what was I going to tell y'all about? Oh, I already showed y'all about my, yeah, my new little jewelry stuff. Y'all want to see me make a video on how I make these? Is that what y'all want? Y'all want to see me do that? I told y'all how to do but do y'all want to actually see me make one of these? Let me know. And people to watch it later, let me know in the comments. Say, yes, you want to see me make one of, some of those bracelets. Yes, I'm on to see you make the Ankara bracelet. And these are these fabrics are two of my fabrics that I got in Nigeria when I went last year. I finally pulled them out and used them. I'm gonna have to use them to make some earrings to match the bracelets. But yeah, these are the ones I showed y'all. If y'all watch my video when I came back from Nigeria, I finally pulled this bag on out from the storeroom and used them. This is the one fabric. Then I made the one bracelet with it. These are the fabrics I got in Nigeria at Chinatown. They gonna place the same everywhere has a Chinatown. China be taking over. These are the beautiful fabrics. This one is the one I used on the other, the pink bracelet. I used this section. Uh, show. I don't know why I hear that. I don't know why I hid that comment. Oh, maybe because maybe because you said my Instagram, they must have wanted to hit hide that. Oh, you just got back from Nigeria. How'd you like it? Are you from Nigeria or you just went to visit, Janice? Oh, Stephanie, don't have Janice's comment. <laughs> this is she trying to learn how to use this thing, I guess. No, it was the Lord said she don't know how to use it. Now Stephanie's gone, so she ain't had that. This machine, this computer was doing something silly. You gotta say goodnight to Martha. Oh, Martha's leaving me too. Gotta get up four in the morning. Oh, where you going, Martha? Where you going? She out. She going somewhere. Martha always going somewhere, whether she driving or flying. Where you going? Oh, you did a bad mistake. 
Laughlin, Nevada. Is that like a family trip? You just going or you, it's a vacation, vacation or business trip? I ain't never heard of Laughlin, Laughlin, Nevada. Never heard of it. Well, have fun and have safe traveling mercy. Go give a safe traveling mercy to and fro her destination in Jesus' name, amen. Pray, seal it, seal it, seal it with the prayer. And then I got the blue dashiki fabric from there. So I thought that was pretty cute. I ain't used this yet. I haven't made nothing with that yet. But I cut a piece off of all of them because I was going to make, I'm going to make some jewelry with them. Then this fabric I really like that I got. And this one that I showed y'all still ain't done nothing with none of these fabrics till I made these them bracelets the other day. But yeah, this one I, I'm going to make some stuff for my godmother and then. I don't know what whatever extra I was gonna make my godmother a shirt out of this and do some other stuff with this one. That's the pretty one. That's the fabric that's really expensive. If you buy it here, this that one cost you about a hundred something. If you bought it here, there it was only like maybe twenty bucks for how much I got. It might have been cheaper than that, but how much I got. And all these fabrics were cheaper there than what they cost here. So I had to snatch some up. And hopefully I'll be going to Nigeria again soon. Be snatching some more up. Who knows if I have the finances? Because my finances ain't there. But me and my son gonna work together starting this month, so we good. Finances is gonna get back on track. Since he got the same job I got for now, we gonna work together. Cause our incomes together is fine when you put them together. All for a fun vacation. Yeah, you have fun. You need to have some fun. Thank you, Dolores. Yeah, that was that fabric I showed y'all in the um, Nigeria when I got back from Nigeria, but I don't know how people watched it too far to see the fabric. But that's what's showing y'all that because I finally used some of it. Like I said, I used the orange here and the yellow. Finally used it yesterday to make these cute little Ankara bead bracelets. I'm trying to keep, always turn this to where the pink, the little pink shows because it wants to show the orange. But you gotta turn it to where the, the pink parts show. The orange, it doesn't matter if the orange shows either, but I like the pink parts to show. But I'm gonna make more of these. I'm trying to make some that are all cloth beads. Might make a couple of those. I have to get some more of these though, because I don't want to put the cloth beads over the color, color beads. I want to put them only over the basic ones. I guess these are ones you're supposed to paint. So yeah, that's what, what I got from it. Thank you, Tiki, Tiki Junkie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You've been sitting off in here quiet. <laughs> but yeah, the this is what I was going to talk about. This is just bad. The stupid president. He's going to make an announcement tomorrow. And everybody's anticipating this. And I just found out today from my fiance that it was possible because uh, a law visa lawyer had contacted him about it. But he is going to ban Nigerians. That's the big word. He's going to put a travel ban on Nigerians, which he's in some other countries, but everybody's really upset because they're like, how are you going to ban Nigeria, the largest country in Africa, the richest country in Africa? What? Does that make sense, you stupid idiot? What harm has Nigeria ever done to us besides what they do, what Nigerians do to other people, which is scam? But that's anybody. It ain't just Nigerians, it's Americans too. Americans, Europeans, whoever. Scammers are everywhere, but they label it mainly for Nigeria. But that ain't got nothing to do with no terrorism. Nigeria ain't never done no terrorist attacks on Americans, don't never plan. But I told my fiance he had sent me a video of some Africans and some Muslims protesting after Trump. Uh, sent those that drone and killed that man and then they was protesting and burning the American flag. It was a small group of people, but our president's an idiot and he acts like a kid. So I knew he would try to retaliate against Nigeria. I said, why would they do this stupid stuff? I said, they done burnt the American flag. Now that he going to try to ban them from traveling because a small group of Nigerians burnt the American flag and protest him. He going to ban a whole country of millions from coming to the U.S. And that's made me mad. But I don't think the Supreme Court will allow that. I think the Supreme Court will overturn that because it makes no sense for him to ban Nigeria. 
but they said it could be like if he can say use security reasons say their airports are not up to par that's why he's banning them or something that they're not up to par with the department of homeland security and then this will give them time to get the airports up to par and then they can be removed from the ban but he's announcing some more countries for this travel ban tomorrow which is supposedly the three-year anniversary of his first travel ban He's causing us just a whole bunch of distractions right now. He didn't cause the war right now. He's causing all this stuff because he's running for president again, which I hope he does not win. But how did he win the first time? How? How did he win the first time? So who knows what happened this year? I'm praying and hoping that he won't win. And I'm praying and hoping that that travel ban, I'm saying it's not going to work. It's not going to work in the name of Jesus. It's not going to work. It's going to be blocked. But he's going to try it, y'all. So that's kind of making me mad because I can't stand him as he is, but then he does this stupid stuff. Like, you really gonna try to put a travel ban on Nigeria? But they ain't never bothered us. They ain't never done nothing to us. Y'all already make it hard enough for Africans to come here, for Nigerians to come here, period. It's already hard enough. And then you're gonna do that? Mm -mm -mm. It just made me super mad, especially in the middle of me trying to get my fiance here. Beyonce soon to be husband here. So y'all just pray it don't happen or pray it does not pass Supreme Court. I just don't see it passing the Supreme Court because Sudan didn't, he, he tried Sudan before with the travel ban and that was the one country that the Supreme Court did not pass in that travel ban. He's trying Sudan again with this one. Sudan, Nigeria, Tanzania, and there's a couple of few other con African countries that he's going to try with this travel ban. He's going to announce tomorrow. But he can announce it all day long. If the Supreme Court don't agree with it, it's not going to go nowhere. And it's already an uproar with people knowing that he's going to do this. It's, it's a way bigger uproar than what it was with the previous ban. And that's what everybody's saying. Like they like, if he does this, all those Nigerians in America, all the ones as citizens and all the ones working on their green car already and stuff, and their families, it's going to be some protests in them airports worse than the last time. And it is. I said, I'm ready to be off in the airport. Nobody playing with him. He can't just ban people because he's on the ban. I mean, it's just stupid. Yeah, he did it the first time, but it was more of the, the countries that are, uh, he was being a Muslim hater. That's what he was doing and banning Islamic countries. But Nigeria is more Christian than Islamic. The upper northern part is Islamic, but the mo majority of Nigeria is Christian. Now it is. And so that's just stupid. And it's just stupid, period. You're banning people because they religion. That don't make them a terrorist because they religion. You just, it makes you an idiot. Because most of the people that do the terrorist attacks have already been here forever. So it wasn't like you banned them. Some of them was even born here. Stupid idiot. Just dumb. So I'm like, you banning no other country. It ain't got nothing to do with Iran. We in war with Iran. Just because they didn't agree with you killing that man with that drone. That don't mean you banned that country. And it wasn't a whole country. It was a small little handful of people protesting. Like three weeks ago, after he killed that man. Small little handful of people, but I knew, being the childish man that this president is, that he was going to try to do. I said, why are they doing that? And they burning the American flag. He's going to try to ban them because he's a big baby. A big, stupid, ugly baby. And if you like Trump, I'm sorry. I can't stand him. Never have, never will. We just have to agree to disagree on that one. He keeps making me mad about a minute. I just can't wait for him to get up out of office. He don't know what he want to do. One minute he won't try to act all black. The black people are doing good since I've been in the president. African American is this and that. African American this that. The next minute, oh, well they deserve to die by the cops. Oh, they deserve. He don't know what he want. Dumb idiot. Supporting the KKPK people that ran over the white woman that was in the protest against the the black lap where they was helping Black Lives Matter or whatever. And that man ran him a hole over the car and he gonna say that she provoked him, killed that woman. Stupid idiot. He makes me sick. But yeah, he's trying to buy in. He's trying to. We'll find out tomorrow. But he's supposed to announce it tomorrow. But he's trying to ban, put a travel ban on Nigerians, which I do not. It's not going to work. But he's going to try it just to piss me off more because I already don't like him. I already can't stand him. But it, Supreme Court, I don't see the Supreme Court passing that. It. It's just stupid. I don't see the Supreme Court passing the ban on the biggest country in Africa that's never done nothing to us. But burn. Some people over there burn the flag. People in America burn the flag. Stupid idiot.
you gonna put a travel ban on Americans? You gonna make the Americans to burn the flag go back to Nigeria? Stupid idiot. He ain't saying it's because they burned the flag, but I know it's because they was burning the flag. It was only a few of them that was protesting, but I know because that's how childish he is. I said, that's why I told my fiance when he showed me that video, I said, it is. Why would they do that? Because now the stupid president is going to try to put a ban on Nigeria. Three weeks later, bam. He done, he's trying to put, he's going to try. Y'all find out tomorrow. He's going to announce it tomorrow. He's going to announce it tomorrow. He's his dumb butt can't let Kobe just rest him. Let it be about Kobe for a week or two. I mean, Kobe just passed. I know he was already planning this announcement, but can you push the announcement off and let the folks that want to mourn Kobe? He's almost like a president to some folks. Let them mourn Kobe and his daughter. That's a sad moment. You don't, you won't come in here with your bad news tomorrow. Talking about you're going to put a trap ban on Nigerians. That, that's just stupid because that's going to cause an uproar. So hopefully it's dumb, but wait, but he doesn't know when he doesn't know proper time for stuff. He said, oh, such sad news about Kobe. OK, but then you're going to announce some stupid stuff tomorrow. I don't care. Y'all know Kobe basically is up there at the level of a politician, of a top politician, just because people love him. And he's known so much, known around the world, just like any president. Very popular man, of course. So it's a big thing for him to die, like getting a helicopter crash and his daughter died with him. It's sad. Let people mourn that before you come announcing. There's plenty of Nigerians, I'm sure, they love Kobe Bryant too. So some people are probably crying tears like that's a real family member. It's a sad situation. That's why I don't want to watch nothing. I don't want to watch nothing about it. I don't want to see stuff. I, I just don't. It's, I'm, cause, I mean, it's just sad. And I know it's all over the internet. It's just sad. It's sad. It's a sad story. It's a sad story. And then, I, then you have to hear this stupid president going to make a dumb announcement tomorrow. All I can say is, Nigerians, keep your head up. If you're in this country, if you're waiting for your visa, if you're waiting for your green card, if you're waiting for your stuff, just keep your head up, man. That's all I can say. It ain't going to last. If he announces this travel ban, it's not going to last. And I don't think the Supreme Court is going to uphold it. Not for Nigeria. There's some other countries he put on there, which they didn't uphold it for Sudan last time. They probably won't uphold it for Sudan this time because they didn't last time. So... Um, like if they want to uphold it for Sudan, who's actually having a civil war. I don't know if it's still going on, but they've been having a civil war for a long time. We got a whole bunch of Sudanese refugees here in America. So I think that's why they didn't uphold it the first three years ago when he tried to put Sudan on there because we got so many refugees here from Sudan, which if you offer refuge for people, you can't stop trying to send them back. It's stupid. One day Americans are going to need refuge. Mark my word. One day Americans are going to need refuge. And where will we have to go when we try to block everybody who's trying to get safety here? Where? Other countries are going to sit there and laugh at us when we when the day comes when we need refuge. It's, it's so crazy that people think stuff's impossible. This stuff's impossible. It can never happen to us. It can never. Why can't it? Why can't it happen to us? And you want to mistreat other folks and mistreat other people that seek seeking refuge or asylum and stuff like that. You want to mistreat them. But one day it can happen to us. I hope and pray it don't, but it could. We are not free from needing refuge. Just like we wasn't free of a huge terrorist attack when we always thought, oh, that could never happen to us. And then 9-11 happened. And we realized, wow, it can happen in America. So we need to stop being selfish and stop being mean and trying to treat other people like crap for no reason. Do we save the world? No, I don't believe in we need to save the world, but you don't pick and choose who you want to let travel based on colors. Because almost every country he got in those bands are minorities, will be minorities in America, all the Arab countries. And he definitely would love to ban Mexico. Surprise, he ain't. He's trying his best to do stuff to keep Mexicans from getting here. And then African countries, next he'll be trying to ban Caribbean countries. Because that's what he said. Why are we still letting people come from these SHIT whole countries? He called Africa a country, which is a whole continent, but he called Africa a country. He was mixing Haiti and Africa and the Caribbean. Why are we still letting people come from these countries and then try to go over and shake Buhari's hand what, a year, the same year or the year, like a couple of years later after you done called Africa a whole S-H-I-T whole country. 
but then you're going over a front. You just don't know what bipolar. We got a bipolar, schizophrenic, whatever president, y'all. So get him out. It's an idiot of the United States, as I've always called him. And y'all will see tomorrow when he says this stupid stuff. I just pray to help and get this man up out of office and do not vote him back in. I'm sorry. I can't stand him. Never have, never will. Because he's stupid. Why? I thought being smart was supposed to be a prerequisite for the president of the United States, but obviously it's not anymore. Well, no, we know Bush wasn't the, Bush Jr. wasn't the smartest, but he was the former president's son, so that's what helped him get in office. So, but this one just takes the cake. He's the dumbest, dumbest president we ever had. Idiot. Just comes up with the stupid, dumb, stupid, just, I want to say stupidest. That ain't even the word, but he's the dumbest, comes up with the stupidest stuff. Because he's the stupidest president we have ever had. I don't know. Y'all comment below what y'all think about this so-called ban because by the time some of y'all see it, it'll be tomorrow and he's probably already be it, done announced it. But let's just pray he don't. But everybody's saying it's coming tomorrow on the anniversary of the last ban. And let's just see what this idiot has to say. Let's just see. And I say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the rest of the people in that helicopter crash. Sad, sad situation. May they rest in peace. May the family find peace. May everybody just find peace and come together and just lift each other up. Just all his old teammates, all his other play, old players, just come together. They lift each other up. Do a big spectacular memorial for him on the All-Star Weekend, which is coming up in February. Do a big spectacular memorial for Kobe and his daughter and the rest of those people. Don't just do it for Kobe. Do it for all those people that was in that crash with him. Just do, do something awesome. Cause it's just a sad situation. It's a sad situation. But I hate to be the bird. Well, y'all already heard the news. So I'm not the bird of bad news, but maybe I'm the bird of bad news for the travel ban thing. Cause I just found out about that today. But everybody knows about Kobe. It just happened today, but I'm sure everybody heard about it just like that. Cause it's everywhere on the internet. So I'm not the bearer of that bad news, but I'm probably the bearer of the Nigerian travel ban bad news that may happen tomorrow. Let's just hope it don't. And I'm standing strong for y'all Nigerians. And if y'all going to be protesting at my airport, just let me know because I'm going to be up there. I'm going to come with you and protest. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to walk around with a poke. I don't know. We're going to walk around with a Nigerian flag. What are we going to do? We're going to protest, though. You try and block no, the biggest country in Africa. Idiot. Can't do that. The biggest, the richest country in Africa. Most travels come here. A lot of Americans go there. And that's what I'm afraid of, that if he blocks Nigerians from coming here, that Buhari might try to block Americans. Buhari don't be playing. He don't play. Here's why he, he made it harder for Americans to travel to Nigeria. You got to go to one of the visa places on top of sending your paperwork. You got to go there to do the biometrics. So that's why I had to go all the way to D.C. You got to go D.C., Atlanta, or Texas, or one of those places. I think L.A. is another place, or California is another location. But you got to go. If you ain't seen my previous video on how I got my Nigeria tourist visa, but you got to go to them places. So he already made it harder since Trump makes it so hard for Nigerians and Africans to get to America. Since he makes it, they, they make it so hard for Africans to travel here. That's why a lot of Africans lie. So I don't even care. I mean, I don't even feel bad for the Africans to lie because they, they lie. They have to lie to get here sometimes. And it's a shame that they got to lie just to come here when anybody from Europe or China or any other country can just get here, put their little paperwork in and get here, but Nigerians got to tell extra lies and extra reasons why and reason why they got to go back home to Nigeria and all this extra, extra, extra Africans got to go through all that and still get denied and still get denied and still get denied until they finally get accepted unless they just feel they rich or they got a work visa or a school visa. That's the when you get lucky or you got a lottery. It's when you get lucky. They already make it so hard. So to add a travel ban on top of how, to, how hard they make it, Mm -mm -mm. So I, don't, I can't see that if y'all talking, y'all quiet. My people's is quiet tonight. Y'all done fell asleep on me. I done bored y'all. I know a lot of y'all left and went to sleep, but yeah. Yes, I just stand with y'all now, Jerry. And I will, if it happens, I'm going to be talking about this for a while and talking about how crazy he is and trying to hope that this ban is removed if it is put on Nigeria. 
but he's just a stupid, ugly idiot. Can't stand him. Can't stand him. But I will let y'all go. Y'all comment down below what y'all think. If y'all like the haul, comment down below. You know, rest in peace, Kobe and his daughter. Rest in peace. Comment down below about what you think about this travel ban that's possible. And if the travel ban takes place and y'all seeing it after he's announced it, what you think about it and what should be done to get it removed if they do try to put this travel ban on Nigeria. We shall see. I think it won't work because Nigeria is too big of a country and they ain't done nothing to us. They ain't done nothing to us. They ain't threatened us. So it just don't make sense. Nigeria has never bothered, bothered America. So it makes no sense. It's stupid. It's idiotic. But it fits his profile because he's a stupid idiot. But I thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up the video if you haven't. Stand strong, Nigeria. Stand strong, Kobe Bryant's family. Stand strong, Kobe Bryant's fans. Stand strong, America. That's all I can say. Just stand strong. And keep on Poshmarking. Check out my Poshmark closet. Lala B42. And whatever you do. My cash app is in my about section if y'all want to give me some money. <laughs> anyway, I got super chats too. No. My cash app is the same as my YouTube, but it has a dollar sign in front of it. Why I be so random, but it has a dollar sign in front of it. Shoot. Anyway, I'm going to go up out of here. And I hope y'all enjoyed this haul and the chit chat and the, just leave y'all comments. I, I talk back. Y'all know I talk back. And I thank y'all for watching. And if y'all have been talking, this thing ain't been moving. So I don't know. I'm, I apologize. The last comment I see is the I wear a nine. That's the last comment I see, which was Vivian Morris. And I had some shoes and some nines, too. So you better check out my posh, but I'm going to get them posted. Check them out. I think I did have a size nine. And them suede. I had some suede, tan suede, Michael Kors heels. They were size nine. So check them out. Vivian, if you're still in here. But I got to put them on my posh. They ain't up yet. Hopefully, I get them posted tonight. We're going to see. If not tonight, tomorrow, because I'm off tomorrow. So I'll probably post this stuff tomorrow on my posh mark. Now, thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Boop, 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 click, 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 whatever. Bell, bell, bell. So you get the notifications. I see y'all next time. Love y'all, Team Random. Be blessed and be a blessing. Deuces. And see y'all next time. Bye bye.